with hair. But as an artist, you can add features, add some hair. You can make this style your own. You can interpret it any way you want. Because her hair this way looks very elegant. And it's very important. Вот это, вот эта улыбка, это две, два бублика. Один бублик здесь, а другой бублик здесь. Делается по поводу по, по, бублик. Бублик. Это две бублики, это ну, бублики, круглые бублики. Булочка. Это как бейбл. Да, бейбл. Это очень важно подчеркнуть вот здесь. Вот это смотрите. Вот это вот. So if you look at her dimples. Вот это вот. Вот это ее. Where her dimples would be, or where her cheeks start, makeup. It's just her. It shows how her muscles are moving because she's smiling. You don't have to make it completely noticeable. Just so you can tell that there's light and dark. Just make it visible. But with the oil paints, when you put them on the canvas, that's when you make it significantly different. You can even use your finger to shade some areas. Just to smooth out the edges. Мышцы лица очень важны для анатомии, очень важны для... Не обязательно писать скелета, не обязательно писать. Можно было смотреть на человека с хорошим пропорцией лица и делать очень красивый лиц. The anatomy of the face is very important. So if you look, you know, you don't have to necessarily draw a skeleton or bones. You can just look at the person or the picture and look at the features and draw them out. And now we're just gonna shade some areas and basically your face is, you know, finished. So when you draw with oil paint, you can always, if let's say you want to change something, you can just cover it up with some more paint. You don't have to worry about it, it drying and ruining the picture or the painting. Посмотрите, 
Какие черты? Какие черты? Look at what you like, what you yeah. don't like. Посмотрите на черты, как вот убрать вот так вот. She is practically her face is basically finished. Just add some hair if you like. So this is the base for your portrait. So later on, you don't need to use these lines anymore. You will cover them up with the paints. So in the next video, we will start with paint. We will reflect through the paint, you know, cover up the edges. We're going to start with a very, very thin brown colored paint with a thin brush. But brown and white are going to be the main colors to start off. So we're going to give it depth. We're going to give it depth and it's going to look like what it is in the picture itself. Если вам, если вам что-то не нравится, вы не можете это видеть, да? Дайте мне посмотреть. If there's something that you can't see, but there's you, you feel like there's something you don't like, если take a mirror. Если у вас есть зеркало, на ту сторону, вы можете посмотреть туда и видеть, хорошо как это. Just look at the mirror and it'll reflect. А если нет зеркала, вот это вот такое простое зеркало. И вот так вот, смотрите, и вы увидите, да, и вы увидите все черты здесь. So take a mirror. So take a mirror. And it will show you exactly what you like or what you don't like in the painting. It's very important.